qualifier. So this is going to be a good measuring stick for Mackle as he streaks right by us here and heads to the mat. Yeah, and Alex just popped into the rankings for the first time, so he's going to look to hold that up and uh, take some momentum into Sunday um, at Oklahoma State with this um, first match. Okay. He definitely wants to stay out of, out of scrambles and not roll around with this guy. And, and again, uh, as we uh, let the smoke clear, and that's not a euphemism. Uh, it's real smoke. Yeah. It's real smoke, folks. But boy, that felt good on your back, man. Oh, yeah, that fire, that fire did feel good. I'm glad they got it in Hilton now. Maybe we can get it for Cyclist.tv in our office. <laughs> Where there's smoke, there's fire, so hopefully there'll be a lot of um, fire here tonight. Macklin on a nice high crotch, and he lifts his opponent nice and straight into a turk. Bottom leg turk with that bottom right leg. He, what he wants to do right here is continue to elevate that bottom leg and go with that left hand to that lower shoulder of Moody and continue to crawl up and look for those back points. It looks like he'll be sneaking some of those here quickly. He's working on possible back points right off the bat. Yeah, he just has to, he has to be um, smart right here. He doesn't have to rush this. You know, he has two minutes left to work. He needs to keep that, keep that um, lower leg Turk and um, how he lets it go. But he comes into a uh, chicken wing on the right side of his opponent's body. He's looking. Mackle, one looking of the things that's impressed me so much about him since he transferred from Rutgers is pace. Yes. Non stop it pace. And, <laughs> and that pace is working out for him right now. He needs to be careful. He just got his four count. So it's um, 6 0. Looks like he might be looking up. Does a nice trip. Oh. And that's the escape. Foot sweep escape for Mackle. Great start for Mackle. Yeah, he comes out firing. And that was that was one of the keys to victory for the team as a whole is to start quick. Moody out of Collinsville, Oklahoma, which is uh, just north of Tulsa. Sixth in the Big 12 Conference Championship a year ago. Mackle's doing a really good job. He's controlling the size. Pulled Moody with the reach. Pulled that up with a nice underhook with, um, on his opponent's right side. Um, he has great head position right now. 43 seconds left. Nice level change. Nice. Another bid. Doesn't get it, but he found his way to his feet quickly. Now he has a two-on-one. Goes another post high crotch on the back leg of his opponent, which is his left leg. Nice snap. He's looking for angles. Nice sweep from Mako. Doesn't get it. Nothing yet. Moody followed that up really nice into a single on Mako's left side. Um, six seconds. He's going to have to be careful. Nothing yet. Mackle kept in a nice wizard right there and didn't give up any points. Absolutely well, solid wrestling. Certainly, Moody is no pushover. The guy's been to two NCAA championships. So the way this started was a little bit uh, stunning to me. Um, but I don't think uh, anybody, Mackle included, expected to just uh, blow through this. Yeah, I don't think he expected to blow through it, but I think one of the things he did expect to do is come out and start quick, and that's what the coaches have been preaching to him all year is, is start quick, start early, and once you do start that way is look to, to score early in Austin. Two refs at this match. Big 12. It, yeah. Explain to the fans uh, what the difference is and uh, what your observations nice. are about that. That was a nice outside or head inside uh, step. Single for uh, Moody, but again, Mackle gets that wizard in. He's, and he defend, he fends it off with, but he's right. He shoots the single, he gets to the ankle. Oh, gotta keep wrestling. Oh. Moody snuck out the back door right there. Good action. Mackle's right back up to his feet. He gets his one. Score seven four with a minute fifteen left in the second period. Mackle used the underhook with his left hand. Got the leg over. So what he wants to do right here is put that right leg of Moody's on his far hip or sneak that left hand down below the waist of Moody, but there will be a stalemate. So what you were asking earlier, Tom, um, about the two refs, basically in Big 12 action or a big time dual meets, there's usually two refs just to make sure that 
Um, everything's kept safe. Everything is, all the calls that are made are correct. Just kind of like a backup ref. Nice snap by Mackle. Looks for a level change, doesn't get it. Michael's inside, controlling the tie on the, on his right side. He runs corner. Now they're in the over-under position. Doesn't look like either guy's really gonna work from there. Mackle out of Austin Town, Ohio. And he's back to that two on one. He really likes that two on one. Let's see what he can do right there. Ooh, nice. It looks like he got a takedown. Maybe tried some slippery right there. He tried to spin out and gave up um, a takedown right at the end. And Mackle gets a ride out. Now Mackle does have a minute and 10 riding time advantage. He's up nine to four. And it's always huge when you don't have to surrender. Uh, an escape at the end of the period. Yeah, Moody's, Moody chose top. Moody chose top, and so what we'll have to see from Mackle is explosion right away, get up to his feet and start looking for that major decision. Nice, gotta keep that head up. Moody's looking for a cradle. Yeah, he's, he is. Um, Mackle has the hand, he has the wizard, he takes it off and he gets away, nice. That's a free point for Mackle. Now he just needs to start looking, looking, looking for those attacks. Well, it's impressive in that I'm sure Moody considers himself a good writer. Yes, right, when you choose top, you have to be right. No doubt about it. <laughs> and so Moody rode him for 11 seconds, which took um, the writing time away from Mackle, but Mackle needs to circle right here, and control the center of the mat. Minute and 15 seconds left in third period. Mackle's up 10-4. If he can get a takedown, he would um, basically secure that riding time. That two on one, he's working heavy on that two on one. A minute, minute left in the third period. Back to the center. Nice shot by Moody, more of a reach. Mackle snaps. Moody drags out of it. Looks like Moody's pushing forward, trying to take control of the center of the mat. Mackle with a sweep, nothing. Um, gonna be an action call. Meaning when the guys are near the edge, if you get pushed out, um, the ref will hit you for stalling um, instead of uh, calling it like a, just an out of bounds, he'll hit the. I like the rule. I do, I think it keeps wrestling in the center. High crotch attempt, uh oh. Plus, no. I'm not very interested in sumo wrestling, okay? I'm not interested in guys just shoving around. I want to see wrestling. Right. Michael just got hit for stalling right there, 30 seconds left. And a, a takedown would be huge right here. A takedown would be huge right here. Take that six point, six point lead to a duck by, duck attempt by Moody. In seconds, you start to hear the fans. Stalemate, five seconds. Five seconds, let's see what Michael does. Well, that's gonna do it, and Alex Mackle's gonna go to 17 and six on the year with a nice victory over a two-time NCAA championship qualifier. Alex Mackle, 125 pounds. Yeah. Mackle did a good job right there. Came out firing. I think um, what he'll look to do, oh, that, that was early back points, maybe that were missed, but what he'll look to do um, moving forward.